Do you know someone that is celebrating a birthday? Maybe it's your birthday. What do we eat on someone's birthday? That's right, we eat a birthday cake. Can you help me count how many slices are on the birthday cake? One, two, three, four, five, and six. There are six slices on the birthday cake. I see some strawberries on the cake as well. How many strawberries are on the birthday cake? One, two, and three. Great! I also see some cherries. Cherries are so yummy. How many cherries are on the birthday cake? One, two, and three. I see three cherries on the birthday cake. Hmm, I think there's something missing from the birthday cake. Can you guess what's missing? I'll give you a hint. We blow them out. That's right, candles. We're missing candles on our birthday cake. Let's add some candles. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There are six candles on our birthday cake. We have to add a sign that says happy birthday. Let's add it right in the middle. Now we're all ready to sing happy birthday to our friends or family members, whoever's birthday it is today. It's time to eat our cake, but first we need to remove the candles. Let's remove the purple candles. You can say remove, take away, or subtract. That's one purple candle. And there's two, two purple candles. Now let's remove the blue candles. Let's take away one blue candle. How many candles are left? That's right, there are three more candles. Let's take away the other blue candle. Now there are only two candles left. Now let's take away the yellow candles. Let's take away one yellow candle. Now there is only one candle left. Let's remove the last yellow candle. There are no more candles left. That means it's time to serve our cake. Let's serve up some slices for our friends. Do you remember how many slices of cake we had? That's right, there are six slices of cake. I'm going to remove one slice of cake and serve it to my mommy. Now there are only five slices of cake left. Now I'm going to remove another slice of cake. This one's for my dad. Now there are only four slices of cake left. I'm going to remove one slice of cake and serve it to my sister. Now there are three slices of cake left. I'm going to remove another slice of cake and serve it to my brother. Now there are two slices of cake left. I'm going to remove another slice of cake and serve it to my friend. Now there is only one slice of cake left. I'm going to remove the last slice of cake and I'm going to serve it to you. I really hope you enjoy your piece of birthday cake. <laughs> Hmm, what's this? You're right, it's an ice cream cone. Let's scoop some ice cream for our ice cream party. Let's add one scoop of pink ice cream. What flavor could this be? You're right, it could be strawberry. Let's add it to our ice cream cone. We have one scoop of ice cream. Let's add one more scoop of ice cream. What color is this? Yes, it's brown. It's one scoop of chocolate ice cream. Now we have two scoops. Let's add one more scoop. What color is this? Yes, it's green. It could be mint. Let's add it to our ice cream cone. Now we have three scoops of ice cream. 
Let's add one more scoop. This one is yellow. What flavor could it be? Yes, it could be vanilla. Let's add it to our ice cream cone. Now we have four scoops of ice cream. Let's add another pink scoop. This one can be strawberry. Let's add it to our ice cream cone. Whoa, now we have five scoops of ice cream. Let's add one scoop of ice cream. This one is brown again. That's right, it could be chocolate. Let's add it to our ice cream cone. Wow, we have six scoops of ice cream. Let's count them. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Six scoops of ice cream for our ice cream party. For our birthday, we can have cake, cupcakes, or we could even have some healthy muffins. We love making healthy choices. These are some healthy banana muffins. What do we need to do now? You're right, we need to decorate them. What could we decorate them with? Hmm, I know, let's make some cool tie-dye icing. You can ask your grown-up if you need help. To make our tie-dye icing, we will need one bowl of whipped topping. You can also use whipped cream or icing. We're also going to use some food coloring. You can pick whatever colors you like. First, let's add in our food coloring, just a few drops. You can mix up the colors to have some really cool designs. I'm going to mix my red with some yellow food coloring. Now we have to mix it up. You can get a stick and swirl it all together. This is going to make the designs on our icing look really cool. You can mix it as much or as little as you'd like. Here's what it might look like when you're done. What colors did you use? Now it's time to dip our muffins or cupcakes into the icing. Take your muffin or cupcake and hold it upside down. Dip it in and you can swirl it around a little bit. Once you take it out, you're going to have a really cool design. It might look something like this. Wow, that tie-dye icing looks so fun! You can make your other cupcakes or muffins with tie-dye icing and use whatever colors you'd like. I made some with purple and green. I think they look really cool. What do you think? We should invite some friends to our party to share. All right, it's time to decorate them. We can use things like sprinkles. Here are some blue, white, and silver sprinkles. You could also decorate using other things, like maybe some fresh fruit. I have some blueberries and some raspberries. I'm going to use them to decorate. <laughs> wow, they look so yummy. I can't wait to eat them. Wait, I think there's something we need to do first. What are we missing? Hmm, if it's someone's birthday, we have to add what? That's right, we need to add some candles. Let's add some candles onto our muffins or cupcakes. We can just pretend, and we can pretend that we're blowing them out. But first, we need to sing happy birthday. We're gonna make some party hats for our birthday party. To make some party hats, you're going to need some different colors of construction paper. I have purple, pink, and green. Let's take our first piece of construction paper. I'm going to take green. We're going to draw a big semicircle at the top of our page. You could use a marker, a crayon, or a pencil. A semicircle has two sides, one long flat side and one even longer rounded side. It has two sides. Now we're going to cut out our semicircle. This part you can ask a grown-up for some help. Now we're going to turn this semicircle into a birthday hat. We're going to get some white glue or a glue stick. I'm using white glue. 
we're going to draw a line from the top middle of our semicircle out to the end. Then we're going to roll our construction paper into a cone. It's starting to all come together. The glue should dry really quickly. Now we have the shape for our party hat, but it definitely needs some decorating. What do you think? Before we decorate, let's make the rest of our party hats. Let's cut them out and glue them. If you have friends and family at your birthday party, you can count how many people there will be. That way we can make a party hat for everyone who's going to be there. We don't want anybody to feel left out. All right, now we have made all three party hats. I have a pink, a green, and a purple party hat ready to go. There are so many things you can use to decorate. I found some markers, some pom-pom balls, some feathers, and even some cool stickers. What other things can you find around your house that you can use to decorate your party hats? I'm gonna draw some cool designs and start to decorate my green party hat. There we go. I think it looks great. My party hats are ready for all of my friends. But where are my friends? Have you seen them? Surprise! There they are. All my friends are here. They all came to my birthday party. I'm so happy. <laughs> Should we blow the balloon up bigger? Let's blow it up more. Let's blow it up bigger. Whoa, can it get bigger? Oh no! 